What's up everyone? This is going to be a tutorial on how to get multiple textures from a single large texture, also known as texture clipping or sprite sheets and also texture atlases. I'll put a screenshot of a compact version of the code at the end of the video. And before we start, I have a quick warning. I literally spent five hours yesterday rewriting this code over and over without it working, even though it works in the game I'm currently progressing on. And what I found out was that the PNG I got off the internet was the issue. I don't know why it was causing issues, but as soon as I replaced it with my own PNG I made in Krita, it worked perfectly. So if you're having issues, I recommend using any free image software that could export PNGs and use an image to practice on. So let's get into it. At the top, you want to include SDL image library. And next, all you need is two recs, one to clip the texture and one to put the texture on. And also you need one SDL texture. I have some extra stuff here just as examples so you can understand a little better. And next, I made this load function that we will check out next. Inside the load function, we start by telling SDL image that we are going to use PNGs. Next, I create a surface and load up the PNG I want to use. I put it in a folder called assets and I named the image test UI colors 64 X 64. Then I turn the surface into a texture and set that null texture we made at the beginning. And right here, I'm just setting up our four clipping racks. And remember that the size of your PNG matters because if you clip off the texture, it will just be blank. And finally, we clean up the surface we made to try to avoid memory leaks. And the last thing to do is in the main file, we call our load function. And in our rendering area, we just use render copy to do our business. In the first one right here, I've left a null so the whole texture is rendered. In the middle ones, I've used each of our clipped recs to show the different parts of the texture. And for this last special one, I'm moving my clipping rect around each frame for some cool effects. And that's all for this one. I hope this helps you guys out with whatever you're working on. Good luck out there.